I can open it up. Yeah, but won't they all try and fly away? Well, I, I think this is really interesting, being able to see an Australopedia hive like this. Mm. Like, most people are never going to see a hive No, like that's this. right. And, I mean, I use this just for teaching. Now, you do workshops, don't you? If someone wanted to find one of your workshops and they were in Sydney, yep. uh, would they just uh, Google... Uh, bees business. Bees business. Mm -hmm. Anyone who's interested in solitary bees or in Australopedia or uh, tetragonula for that mm -hmm. matter, should look up Bee's Business and uh, attend one of your seminars. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they're actually going to see what I'm seeing now, a unique and, at the moment, unfortunately, a very rare site. Yeah. Do you want to describe what sure. it, potentially okay. we're looking at? Um, this is the brood, and unlike Tetragonula, they don't make a, a spiral comb. Ostroplebia, they inhabit small trees with small cavities or trees with large branches with cavities within them. So the brood can then grow to fill the space of the small cavity. So you can have a brood that is only about two inches across, but it could be six metres long. So no queen at the moment? Um, she's probably a bit cold, she'll be in there. Is that waiting for an egg? Yeah, they're waiting, they're prepared so that they'll provision those. They have to call the queen over and say, come on, come on, we've prepared this, and then she'll taste the provisions, and that's part of her, her diet. She actually eats some of the provisions, and then they'll taunt her many, many times, and then she'll eventually lay an egg, and then they'll seal that up. And it's just done one at a time. There's the oh, queen. Okay, here we have, on the, over here. Where my finger is. Can, mm, she might come up. She's on your left-hand side, She's... Howard. Yeah. She's probably wondering why it's so cold suddenly. She's, yeah, she's burrowing down. Out. Here she's coming out again. Here she comes. Oh, it's the big one. The big fat one. It's just see, she's it's behind, the probably behind. Here. She, no, she's at the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How many bees are in here? It doesn't look like there's that many. There would probably be only maybe two or three thousand. It looks really as if there's not many there. Mm, but, but they're all hiding they'll inside. They'll all be there. right inside. Is this a small hive or they just don't have... This is a small colony, yeah. Is it going to be a big colony or is it... If I took it up to Queensland, it'd fill that up and the brood would probably get to twice as big and it would fill it up with stores. But because it's in the Sydney region, they don't get to forage as many hours. Warmth of the day is shorter and they also don't get to forage all year round. So in winter, they just can't get out. The Ostroplebia, unless they're using the space, they don't, they don't fill it with anything. So yes. these are empty honey pots, but they've been harvested. So this is why they don't do well down here. They, they've had pretty good stores, but we've still got another couple of months of yeah. winter. And these are empty. And I've actually lost a few colonies through starvation, but they always have so much pollen. They're a little bit crazy that way. They, they collect a lot of pollen. More than they need. More than they, they need. They should concentrate more on the honey. Are there any queen cell eggs here? They probably are in amongst quite deep down. They do produce queens all year round. Unlike tetragonula, they don't have the queens placed around the edge. Ah, they just right. put them willy-nilly. Is this a more primitive bee than tetragonula? There's a lot of debate about that, whether it's more primitive or whether it's actually more adapted to other areas. So this is the brood, and unlike tetragonula, they don't make a, a spiral comb. So okay. that's the pollen. Pollen? Yep. Now I really like the shape, they're like little urns. <laughs> yeah, they are. This is yellow, bright yellow, yep. so it's the pollen colour, and this is um, Not yeah, honey yellow. colour. And do you want me to, I can, you can just do that. Do you ever harvest the honey? Not. No, not down here. True. People say to me, oh, can I buy one of them? <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. Thanks, Vegan. That was really good. Well, that's it for this month's EnviroTube. I am a bee tragic, and there's nothing better for me than talking about bees with someone like Megan. Now, Megan runs his business, Bees Business. If you're interested in solitary bees, in ostroplebia, or just bees, look her up and maybe attend one of her seminars. I know you'll enjoy it. That's it for EnviroTube, look forward to seeing you soon.